Welcome to another vlog. I am Celeste Stacy. Turn that off. So, I'm here to talk about my books. Because I'm an author. So, these are review copies that I've gotten. These are all the books that I've published. My first one, a year ago. My second one, November. This one, December. Yes, I did crank out two books back to back. This book, it's a western. It's awesome. I wrote it in like 30 days, not even 30 days. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, tickle. And this one's my latest book. Book 3 of SAI. This is a horror romance. This one, this is the western. It's called Tales of the Luminarity, which is a new series based off of SAI. So, and then I got audiobooks. And I got my first audiobook on CD. It's just, you know, Tales of the Luminarity. See if it, it's all sparkly. I'm quite proud. So, I have, in addition to this, I have an audiobook of this one, which is available exclusively through Amazon's Audible. Or you know audiobooks they call it audible.com so you want to get this you if you have an account with them you can listen to this on audio audiobook or audible through Amazon if you have a membership you can listen to it for free just like you can read this for free if you have their uh, Kindle Club but uh, these are the paperback versions and the paperback versions are the same as the ebook versions it's just you know these are paperback I'm old school. I like paper backs. Ooh, new book smell. So, anyways, now this is also available on Amazon's audiobook division, where they call it Audible. Go to audible.com. Now, this is not exclusive with them. I have this other places on the, in the internet as well as CD. So if you don't you don't like to you know fumble around with you know if you if you're not computer literate, take you buy this, you drop it in, you hit play, and it plays. It's about an hour and twenty some minutes long. It's pretty good. I like it. So, then, now, these are the first of many. I need to get the, uh, they're called mailer things, and then these will go in a mailer sleeve, and then I'll prep them for delivery. Now, there's going to be one of two ways you can get the, one of th three ways that you can get an audiobook CD. Either through my website. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, my son. He's home from the army. So, okay. The audiobooks on CDs will be available th one of three ways. You can either, if you see me at a festival, book fe authors festival, 
I'll be having these for sale at my table and then they will be made available for you can buy them through Am they'll be on Amazon and what I gotta do is I have to get the mailers prep them for that send them all in the Amazon so they'll be at their in their fulfillment center so you can just go on amazon.com and then you know buy it and if you got prime it'll ship to you for free that's that's in the second way the third way is I'm going to set it up on the website secretnardy.com that you can buy these directly through the website and then I'll process the order myself and send it to you and it'll be, it'll be a shopping cart and it'll, it'll be automated payment system like PayPal that's what everyone uses so if you got PayPal it'll you know boom so and then all I gotta do is I'll have these ready to go and I'll just drop them in the mail so that's gonna be the three ways to get these yeah because they won't be in stores not 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 just yet maybe down the road you I'll make them available I'll make them available to the to the bookstores you know or you know like Walmart and the others you know stores and their book sections it'll be in the audiobook and who knows but for right now that's the three ways festivals at my table um, which I'm hoping to start doing later this summer um, and speaking of the festivals you see these things right here there's one and then there's one and there's one these are they're called easels I'll grab this one since it's the closest it's just a high high quality thing of my book cover and what they what these are for is I'll set them up at my table and it's like well what about book one he's like uh-huh book one is right here it's a poster I had made a poster made up for it now these aren't for sale not just yet they may be down the road but you know this will go in a frame and then I'll have a, a tripod and then be careful I don't tear it but I only have the one so let me bring it down this is a book one and this will be like you know sitting behind behind me and people see it and they'll like you know with the, the, the it's designed to you know catch people's attention so they'll come to see my table and I'll have my table for all my stuff so that is where I am at um, and then the, these easels will be on, on the table so yeah that's where I'm at and then I'll have these books for sale um, now I've been thinking about price and it's like some books like like this one was like I think this the paperback version is like 10.99 because it's got more pages in it and then I think this one was like 7.99 and then this one was like 5.99 because it's like the, has the least number of pages and then this one was like 8.99 so probably what I'm going to do is take the four prices five prices tap average up the cost of them of the suggested retail and then divide it by the number of how many I have and then I'll just do an average price for each book so each book will be the same basically it'll be the same and I'm only going to do that at the festivals because you know I want people you know people to read my books and such so so it'll be you know some so 
the price will still be, you know, like on Amazon, if you want to get, you know, the paperback, print on demand, each one has, you know, the price goes up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't want someone to get confused that go to the festival, see my books and say, oh, they're only like $7, you know, because, you know, it's like, well, you got the average because I took the average price and then that's what it is. But if you go to buy, say someone buys book one for, you know, or you know whatever so hopefully there won't be no confusion so so yeah this is this is my latest thing just got this yesterday in the mail got a box of 50 which is nowhere near enough but price I wanted to get these in time for there's a festival coming up and I'm hoping I can get in there at the last minute but it's local it's in defiance they uh it's a comic con it's called defcom and they're saying well you don't have a comic book it's like so what you had other authors in the past and it's like well this is just a makeup from last year because of the covid it's like so what it's like whatever so I don't know if I'm going to be in that com in that festival, which is next week or not. I don't know. I'm hoping, but I'm getting my, getting all my stuff ready just in case they decide they said they ought to talk about it. So I don't know. I am quite proud of these books. And now taking a short break from writing, but I'm still having these audiobooks produced. I've got. Book one, I gotta I gotta write a letter, email to Audible.com that I want to change my my uh, exclusivity because and you can only do this if you paid up front to the guy to the narrator when you hire the narrator if you hired him and then you say okay I'm gonna give you two hundred bucks per hour, per finished product hour. And that's then you can you can have it change from exclusive to non-exclusive, so you can do other formats, which I want to do. If you didn't, and you pay a royalty to the narrator, then you are locked in for seven years. Like that's how I understood it from their fine print, and trust me, it took me a long time time to figure this out so book two of auto audio for the audiobook that's coming the uh, the guy he was going on vacation when I hired rehired him because you know, his name is John Moriarty really good a really good narrator he's been doing he did this he did the first book and he's doing the second book and I told him he's gonna, I got, you know, third book three. So when he gets back from vacation, which I think he gets back on the 12th, and he's gonna have, he's got to like the end of June, get this one finished, or the 28th or 29th. And then he's gonna get started in July on this one. And then he, he said he should be able to crank it out in about two and a half weeks. And then, so. Audiobooks will be on CD for the other formats. I'm hoping to have all four books, audiobook, CDs, and other format by September. Hopefully. I know. Kind of confusing. And so that's it. It for today on this vlog about being an author and the back end, I guess you would call it, of being an author. So, for more inf information, go to my website, secretnardy.com, and uh, I'll be posting the more information and detail up on, on the website. So. That is it. I am Celeste Stacy, and have a good night.